Okay. I think it's working now. Um, okay. Yeah, it seems to be working. Hopefully. Alright. It's gonna be a little janky, but I don't know, like the I'm streaming from a new TV once again. So things are gonna <laughs>
so this level... What do you think this level reminds you of, Tomboy? This is kind of like, uh... Aquatic Ruin, I guess, a little bit. It reminds me of, like, um... Oh, here we go. This is a special stage. Okay. It's just like Sonic 2 special stages, right? Yeah, a little like Aquatic Ruin. Um, what's that level from uh, Sonic 06? I forgot the name of it. it. Reminds me of a level from Sonic 06 as well. I think it's called um, Kingdom Valley. Kingdom Valley Zone. I never played Sonic 06, but I've seen like playthroughs of it. Kingdom Valley Zone actually looks kind of cool, I have to admit. You ever play Sonic 06, Tomboy, or did you just watch playthroughs of it? Why is Tails so sad? I don't get oh, because he doesn't get a lot of rings. Played it. Your brother is a big Sonic fan? Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm playing on a different TV, so that's why it took me so long to get everything like set up. Um, for some reason, like I mean this TV is running at 1080p, but I think some windows are larger than usual. Well, you know me and my memory. You know how that works. I need to be reminded of things at least ten times. Uh, what was I saying? I can't even remember what I was saying. Something about Sonic. Something about Sonic the Hedgehog, I know that much. This is a good game. It's just not the greatest, but it's still good. And we haven't streamed it before, so... Well, we... I think we kind of streamed it a little bit, but we didn't do a full playthrough of it, so we gotta do a full playthrough of it. Simple as that. It's a good game. The bosses are not good, though. The bosses are just annoying. They're just, like, gigantic robots, and, like, they don't even look... They don't even look good. Well, let's say... Let's just say... Oh, shit. Oh, just made it. Let's just say that... This game is better than the vast majority of the 3D games. Let's put it that way. You know, Sonic Unleashed HD... It's better than it. Much better. In fact, it's better than Sonic Unleashed Wii, too. I'll even say it's probably better than Sonic Colors. Probably. I don't know, I'd have to think about that. Maybe maybe Sonic Colors is better. I'll, I'll, I'm willing to say Sonic Colors is the better game now. Um, Sonic Generations, probably Sonic Generations is better. What do you think, Tomboy? Sonic Generations is better than this game, right? Sonic Generations is a fine game. Episode 2 is better, has better control. Oh yeah, of course. I played Sonic Colors. I have it. We'll stream it one day.
What am I doing even? There we go. So I like all those springs. I like all that. Yeah, the physics are not exactly the same as the Genesis games, but they're much better than they were in Sonic Episode 1. Episode 2 is, is the better game, obviously. It has better control, better physics. It's still not exactly like the Genesis, but it's a lot better. Right, let's see if we can get this. So this half tube thing, this is is probably one of the most overdone concepts in the history of Sonic. There are so many half tube special stages. Tomboy, can you name them all? Think you can name them all? Sonic 2. It was in Sonic 3D Blast uh, for the H, not, um, Sega Saturn version. I was going to say HD version. Not exactly HD, but definitely better than the Genesis version. Damn it. What else was it in? It was in this. It was in other ones too, I think. Did I make it? Okay. It was in Sonic Heroes? Well, yeah, kinda. It's a little bit different. That was like more of like a full tube. I called that one the full tube one. It's a little bit different, at least different enough. Um, they actually made, that, that was a really glitchy version though. They, they really improved it in uh, another version of Sonic. I'm trying to remember what it was. There was... I think it might have been Sonic Colors for the DS? Or maybe it was Sonic Rush? I didn't get it, or what? I did get it, okay. Yeah, they improved it and made it a lot better in one of those. Yeah, I think it was like Sonic Colors DS or something like that. Does Tail screw up? Um, so far he seems to be behaving. There's other games where the half tube is in it, but I can't remember them all. Let's see, submarine combo unlocked? What does that mean? I've been doing that this whole time. We're in Act 3. So there's three acts per zone. Which is what I like. I like uh, I like there to be three acts per zone. That means that you get more, more bang for your buck. But usually um, in games where there's three acts per zone, it's because they have fewer zones total, so... That's not that good. Yeah, we start underwater. Did you ever play this game before, Tomboy? Whoops. Brother. Broski. Whoops. Should have done this. That's how you're supposed to do it. Going up. The music in this game is a lot better than it was in the, the first one. In episode one. Um... It's still not ideal, but it's it's pretty good. Like in episode one, they, they tried to intentionally go for a 16-bit sound, and it just sounded bad. And it was also inconsistent with the with how Sonic was, how Sonic was always developed. They always used the best technology, sound technology available, to give us the best music possible. They always did that. And that was evidenced with Sonic CD. Remember Sonic CD? 
which we will play again, had great music, and they took full advantage of the CD uh, hardware to give a CD quality sound. See, back in those days, CD quality sound was a big deal. See, I know that you guys don't understand that, because everything these days is, you know, you have MP3s, you could always put things into MP3s to get good sound quality, but back then, they only had uh, this thing called Redbook Audio, which is basically just CD quality shit. Um, and they, the sound files took up a lot of space. Whoops, Oh shit, what the fuck happened there? Metal Sonic music? Yeah, we'll do another round of Sonic CD. Metal Sonic music? I'm trying to... I can't remember it. I don't know exactly why I fell down there. <laughs> like, that didn't make any sense. It's just silly. I should not have fallen down there. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Metal Sonic music, you mean? Metal Sonic's cool. You can also play as Metal Sonic in this game. You play through the, f the zones in uh, episode one. There we go. No special stage this time. Yeah, you get to play as Metal Sonic in this game, and you can get to play through um, the original zones in episode one. They they're not the same exact level design. They're they're different and rearranged, so that's really cool. Rolling combo unlocked. I've been using it this whole time. I don't know what they're talking about. Alright, here comes the shitty boss. Unfortunately, the bosses in this game are really... Like, lame. From what I remember, anyway. Let's see, maybe, maybe my memories are a little bit foggy. Let's see how they are. Let's see if I can get the chat on screen. I've been having some problems getting it on. Let me see. Let's see if this works. What the fuck? See, it's all weird. Alright. Next time. Oh, great. Now there's, like, arrows stuck on the side. How do I fix this? Ugh. I just had to do... Now I gotta, like, cover it up or something. <laughs> I don't really know. Like, because I'm streaming on a different TV, and there's, like... There's glitches. I don't know. Maybe it's OBS that's just glitchy. I don't know what how to get rid of that. Yeah. How do I get rid of that? So if I get rid of that... Yeah, there's a bunch of arrows. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I just... It's just really... Like, I would have to fiddle around with it forever. But luckily, it's not on the actual gameplay. So we'll, we'll just deal with it for now. Whoops. Okay, so the Aquatic Ruin uh, influence is pretty blatant here. Okay, I don't remember how to fight this boss at all. So we'll just do our best and see what happens. those stupid things. So how am I supposed to get the up there? So I gotta... Oh wait, I think I know. I think I gotta fly up there. I keep 
fucking up, hold on. He won't auto lock on. Hold on. He should be able to get up there. Oh, come on. There. That's how you're supposed to do it. Now he's trying to lock on. Why wasn't he doing that before? What? Three of them? No, four of them. Are you gonna die, like, sometime soon? Damn it. TJ! Hey, glad you can make it, TJ. I haven't seen you in so long. Tentacle... Tentacle hentai, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Missed it. Damn it. Shit! It's like a... Wow. Okay, there we go. Good. How many hits? Okay, there we go. Finally. Yeah, these bosses, it's like every single boss is just a hit sponge. Been lurking a bit. That's cool. What's your favorite Sonic game, TJ? We I probably asked you this before, but it's been so long. I'm take a sip of my orange juice. So, this is a pretty cool take on the usual, you know, ice, ice theme zone, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I forget lots of things. This is a cool take on the ice theme zone and also the carnival zone tropes that are recurring zone themes in Sonic. So, in, in this case, they decide to merge them together. Get like a little carnival amusement park thing going on in the background, and a little ice cap zone thing going on in the foreground. And the music's pretty good too. Number one, is Sonic 3 and 2, 2 is Sonic CD, 3 is Mania. Fine choices, fine choices, I must say. So when you say Sonic 3, I'm assuming you you're including Sonic and Knuckles in that. As it's originally intended to be. Sonic, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Sonic Mania was really good. Yeah, we gotta stream that again too. How's your um, Sega magazine going? So these big abominable snowman or polar bear guys, whatever. They're one of the few enemies that actually take more than one hit to kill. In the Genesis games, you never encounter that. Every enemy in the Genesis games always just takes one hit to kill. But in this one, it's like... It's like two hits. That's crazy. Just released number seven. Still a few copies left. They're using in the works. We'll be at the end of the month. Oh, cool. I should stop by your... Uh, Twitch channel. I've seen you streaming a few times before. Oh shit. I definitely want to go on those guys. Watch this. Yeah! I love doing that. 
people batch this game. What the fuck? How many hits was that? Two or three? Sky is streaming in a bit. To Toe Jam and Earl. There's a new Toe Jam and... Oh, wait. Streaming in a bit. The new Toe Jam and Earl game for the magazine. There's a new Toe Jam and Earl game? You know, I think I may have heard of that. So they they released a, another one. It just came out today. Really? Have you played it yet? Is it like the first one or the second one? Oh, there's a, there's a third one too. I didn't know that. Dragoon, you know anything about Toe Jam and Earl? Do you know when the new Streets of Rage game is coming out? That's the one I'm looking forward to. The most. Speaking of that, we gotta stream that game one day. Haven't played it yet? Oh man, I missed it. Toe Jim and Earl was on the OG Xbox? Really? So it was like some kind of 3D game, I guess? What do you know about Toe Jam and Earl 3? Was that any good? I hope they didn't 3D-ify it. I hate it when they 3D-ify things. Weird 3D game. See, I hate when they do that. Did you know that... I don't, I don't even know why I'm asking when... Did you know? You probably already knew. Vector Man! was gonna be, uh, they were gonna make a new Vector Man game, and it was gonna be in 3D as well, and it looked so bad, it looked like, like, Halo with Master Chief, like, Vector Man looked like Master Chief. It looked so bad. I hope they resurrect Vector Man and give us, like, a real Vector Man game. I really love Vector Man. I only beat the first one, but it's really good. Second one's pretty cool too. I haven't haven't gone very far in that one. Oh, you never seen the Vector Man one, really? Yeah, they they were gonna make a new 3D Vector Man game. It was gonna be for like the PS2, GameCube, Xbox, original Xbox, that era. And it looked so bad. If you're um I don't think you're on my Discord anymore, but I can send you an invite to jo rejoin my Discord. And I can, uh, show you some pics of it. Yeah, it didn't look good. There might even be video of it somewhere. This is dumb someone found of a DC dev kit. They released it was only 60% complete. A Dreamcast develop development kit? That's pretty cool. But it's only 60% complete. I see. Damn it, I didn't make it. There's an there's another uh There's another game I wanna stream. I finally got, uh, I found uh, an ISO of it. It's called Tri-Rush Depi. It was released on the Sega Saturn. Yeah, somehow I failed. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't get hit by shit, though. It was this kind of neat, uh, 2D uh, platformer for the Sega Saturn called Tri-Rush Depi. It was only released in Japan. I tried to import it, but, like, the thing's expensive as fuck. But, uh, I got an ISO of it. It's kind of a cool, pl colorful platforming game. We might, uh, stream that one of these days. How many levels are in this game? There's, uh, four zones. I like this. I like this, uh, level because you get 2D and you get 3D. So it's kind of cool, like in the first act, you were in the ice place and you saw the, the carnival in the background, but in this one, 
you're in the carnival. So that's kind of neat. There's uh, three acts per zone and a boss act. The boss act is separate, unlike in Sonic 1. Actually, in Sonic 1, maybe maybe there is a separate boss act. I can't remember. My memory's so bad. No, I don't I don't think there is. Music reminds you of Sonic Adventure 1 Twinkle Park stage. Twinkle Park. What am I doing? Oh shit. <laughs> it's short because Sonic 4 was split up into different episodes. So this is episode 2. They were originally going to have a total of three episodes. Shit. But, since people bitch and complain, they never really, they never, they never did episode three, which was supposed to have Knuckles in it. I mean, it was kind of lame that they made it an episodic release. The whole episodic thing is kind of a failure. Same amount. So, like, when Sonic 4 Episode 1 came out, I was like, why don't they just make the full fucking game? You know, like, why did they have to split up into episodes? And, like, people didn't like that. But, like, at the time, you gotta understand that Sonic was at the lowest of its low. Like, we're talking about, like, shit, shit storm after shit storm, piece of shit game after piece of shit game. So, the fact that we were getting 2D Sonic and it was good, was a breath of fresh air. So, no one was really complaining that much at the time. People were disappointed, but they were still happy about it. It's just, now it's cool to bash on Sonic 4, because we have better games now. And, but it's still a good game. Like, it's just different. And it should have never been called Sonic 4. They should have called it Sonic Remix. Am I right or am I right? Come on! Of course I'm right. <clears throat> well, it would have had uh, four, four more zones, so it would have had, yeah, 12. If Episode 3 ever came out, which would have been neat. You know, like, let's let's be honest. What would what would we rather have, Sonic Forces or Sonic 4 Episode 3? Personally, I would rather have Sonic 4 Episode 3. I never even played Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces looks so stupid. It's like a cheap version of Sonic Generations, which was an okay game, but was le far from ideal. Let's be honest. Like, that's not what. It's not what... It's not a AAA game. It's as simple as that. But it was okay. But Sonic Forces just took Sonic Generations and just somehow made it worse. <laughs> you know, like, how do you fuck that up? Hey, I got an idea. Let's make Green Hill Zone again. Uh... They did Green Hill Zone again in Sonic Forces. It's like, what the fuck? You idiots can't think of any new ideas? Hey, let's make a new Sonic game, but make all of it Green Hill Zone, over and over again. So you'll have Green Zill Act 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I would love for some fan just to, like, troll Sega and make a whole fan Sonic fan game with nothing but Green Hill Zone, back to back, over and over again. The two universes thing now? Yeah, so like, classic Sonic, modern Sonic, and it was neat at the time. But we didn't need it again. Yeah, I mean, the main... I don't know how I failed again. Whatever. Yeah, it was neat at the time. But, like, the problem with Classic Sonic is that... It feels... It, it, it's not, it doesn't even feel. It is an inferior version 
of the classic Genesis games. And since the classic Genesis games and now Sonic Mania are superior to it, like, why would you want to play classic Sonic in a, in a 3D environment? Like, I, I want them, if you're going to make a 3D Sonic game, make the whole thing 3D. You know, I'm sick and tired of, like, the 2D, 3D hybrid. Like, it was neat when they did it in Sonic Unleashed. Because, it's like, oh, wow. This is new. But then they kept on doing it over and over again and wouldn't stop. <laughs> it's like... It's not... It doesn't add anything to it. Not anymore. I just want a, a full 3D Sonic game. I want the whole thing to be 3D. Come on, let's get going here. There we go, there we go. There we go. Chemical Plant, yeah, that's another one that they like to do a lot. Ice Cap Zone, Carnival Night. Those are the big ones that they do all over and over again. Fly through all this stuff. Ah, uh -uh, come on. What are you doing to me here? So, TJ, you said that uh, you still don't know when Streets of Rage 4 is coming out, right? I have played a really good beat-em-up. Like, if you like Streets of Rage, I highly recommend this indie game called uh, Mother Russia Burns. I streamed it uh, a few months ago. It is fantastic. It is my favorite beat-em-up of all time. Well, that and Dragon's Crown. But uh, Mother Russia Burns is more true to the classic uh, beat-em-up style. Whereas uh, Dragon's Crown is more of like a hybrid with RPGs, kind of like an action RPG hybrid. Dragon's Crown. Oh, you played Dragon's Crown. Yeah, Dragon's Crown's fantastic. I love it. Have you played the Odin Sphere remake on the PS4 or PS3? Can you kill these walrus fuckers? These guys are annoying. Dragon's Crown used to be my favorite um, Vanillaware game. That's that is so cheap. Like, how are you supposed to know that fucker is even there? You have Odin Sphere on Vita. Yeah, I think that's um, yeah that that is the uh, the remake version. So Odin Sphere was originally released on the PS2, but then they came out with a remake called Loden, Odin Sphere Left uh, Seer. I can't pronounce it. And at first, like, I didn't like the PS2 version that much. I beat the whole thing, and it was had great graphics, but um, it, had, it was really flawed. Um, so when they announced the remake, I wasn't too excited about it. But I did get it eventually. And holy... Oh, okay, there it is. Come on, give me, give me. There we go. PS2 version had bugs. Um, the combat was really clunky. It had like a stamina meter and it was slow. It, it, was, it was very... It was fundamentally flawed. Um, but then, like, the, the PS4 version, holy shit, that is so good. The gameplay is so fluid, it is the best remake of any game I've ever played in my entire life. I promise you that. Oh, great. It is such a good game. Like, I remember when I played Odin Sphere on the original PS2, it took me, like, 50 hours to beat or something. It was a very long game. And it was a slog. I really didn't enjoy it. I had to force myself to beat it. But on the PS4, the remake... Wow. Like, it was like almost... It was about the same amount of time it took to beat. But you didn't feel it. Because you were having so much fun. The gameplay is so good. And the graphics look so good, too. It turned out that, like, the original artwork was already in HD, so they didn't have to redo too much of the artwork, but they did redo some of it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, boy. I 
think I missed a signpost, too. Damn it. I hate those walrus fucks. I don't know what to do over there. You gotta bust through the guy, I guess. Very quickly. Go, 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 go! Ugh! I'm not really sure what to do over here. We gotta backtrack or what? Yeah, I think he, you're supposed to just bust through them quickly. Which is probably the lamest thing ever. Go up. Take a look. Try bust through them next time. Yeah, let's. We gotta swim through them. Like, do it quickly. There we go. So you gotta go th through, like, so many of them, too. That's so lame. Like, this is their idea of challenge. Like, oh, we'll fuck fuck them over by making them redo this over and over again. Trial and error shit. <laughs> so annoying. Like, that's not what I would call good game design, dudes. It's trial and error shit. So you keep seeing that, like, play next level thing at the bottom right. I don't know why they do that, like... Like, if you don't push that button, it kicks you back to the main screen. And it's kind of stupid. It's like, I'm playing the game. Like, I want to go back to the main screen every single time. I shouldn't have to push a button to go to the next level. I should just do that automatically. Okay, so from what I remember, this level can be pretty tricky. You like this music? This is pretty good music, yeah, sure. This is the Metal Sonic music, right? Yeah. Yeah, the music in Episode 2 is better than Episode 1. It still has that, like, fake 16-bit style that I'm not a huge fan of, but it is better. At least it sounds good. Look at those slick moves. Jump right over that fucker. Damn it! Wow. Oh, man. Insta-kills? You see? You see what I'm talking about? Insta-kill on the second zone boss? Come on. Fuck you. And they t he takes so many hits to kill, too. Yeah, but it happened so quickly, like, it was just an insta-death thing, you know, like... Okay, that's the way we gotta do it, we gotta go to the other thing. Oh, great. Where is it? And I'm also playing this in 4x3 mode. Which is not normally how you should play this. You should play this in 16x9. But for streaming purposes, I have to... Ah, shit. There we go. There we go. Damn it, every time! Why isn't he locking on? Man, like that happens so quickly. Yeah, 
And it's harder to see in 4x3 mode. Like, you can't see as much as what's ahead of you. I mean, look, look at how much you can see ahead of you. There's like 4 inches of gameplay screen I can see ahead of me. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, there's no reaction time. I don't have time to react. It's too lame. I want to go over here. See, see how finicky the lock-on is? Come on! You can't avoid that shit! I don't know how you avoid that. You gotta go to the other side? It's like taking up the whole room. Oh, come on! It's like, I know he's gonna do it, but I don't have time to do it. Alright, I'm gonna concentrate, guys, so I won't be talking much. I think I was having trouble with this last time, too. I just... It's so hard to time it. You have no idea. This is one of those, like, artificial difficulty things. Like, everything else is fine. It's just that cheap attack... ...is killer.
should be okay over here. I pushed the wrong button! cheap oh how did I not die what do I do did I get it oh finally jeez Fuck that guy. That was crazy. Fucking boss. Fucking Metal Sonic. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Thank you, Dragoon. Yeah. How many tries? Oil Desert. So this is the uh, Oil Ocean remix. But as usual, it will have new gimmicks. So, no ocean. We just have oil rigs in the background. Music's pretty good. These things are kind of like uh, dung beetles, mechanical dung beetles. Eggman has a ton of money, I don't know why, like, <laughs> like when you think about it logically, which you shouldn't for a Sonic game, but, you know, it happens. Like, he has so much money to build, like, all, the de all these robots and death eggs and things like that, like, he doesn't need to take over the world, like, he could just buy it. <laughs> There was a bottomless pit underneath me. There's always bottomless pits everywhere. Um, there's also like some weird wind thing going on. One of the cool things about this game too is that uh, the music changes from uh, act to act, which they did do in uh, Sonic 3 as well. this thing in the worst possible place. What am I doing? We can just fly up here. Forsaken jams! Hey, what's up? Just watching your bro? Is Diamond James your real bro? Or is he, like, your, your 
friend bro. <laughs> well, I thought you could stop by and say hi. Yeah, it's been a while. I missed you, man. Friend bro, gotcha. Yeah, we're friend bros. Absolutely. Broski is what I like, what I like to call it. Damn it! Oh yeah, the red rings. I forgot about these things. And I'm dead. <sighs> Look at that, that pool of oil over there. Crude oil. Watching him since 2015. Wow. That's crazy. That's great. There to the bitter end. What games what games are you playing these days? I always wanna know. Been playing the Switch. Okay, we wanna go up that thing. You know, I shouldn't even bother with that. It's just like it's like glitchy. Like I don't even know exactly what's killing me. But it's annoying. go underneath it this time. See, that thing moves. That's the problem. There we go. I don't need the red ring. Dragon Quest Builders 2, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and Burnout on Pokemon, let's go. Oh, did you see the trailer for the new Pokemon Switch game? Sword and Shield? That looks great. I am excited. I've been playing a little bit of Pokemon Black offline, just a little bit. Not too much, though. Gonna get going, TJ? Okay, no problem, man. I'll try to check you out on, uh... What is it called? Sega Visions? Sega Visions Magazine? On, uh... I'm, f I'm following, uh... Your channel. So I'll uh, definitely stop by when I see you streaming. Mega Visions. Whoops. All right, we lose. <laughs> Mega Visions. So you're gonna be streaming uh, Toad Jam and Earl? Yeah, maybe I'll stop by after the stream. Check you out. Have a good night. Not sure about them, but get them regardless. Really? You're not uh, too enthralled with the trailer, huh? I thought it looked really good. Did we make it or what? We made it. That's crazy. Hmm. 
Okay. This music's kind of weird, but I like it. It's like... A little bit of Sandopolis zone action here. This point they aren't using overworld Pokemon. I don't understand. Overworld Pokemon. Like in Pokemon Let's Go, I, I don't know what that means. I don't understand. What does that mean? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, the catching method, you gotta battle the... the Pokemon. The wild Pokemon. I heard people like the method in Let's Go, though. Seeing Pokemon in view, just like in uh, Earthbound. So they wouldn't be like in... So it's more like the Earthbound... It's more like the Earthbound style. Instead of the Final Fantasy style, is what you're trying to tell me. Even though Final F some Final Fantasy games do actually have... The... Uh, Earthbound style. Made shiny, shiny hunting really fun and easy. Yeah, you could just see them then, right? It's like, there they are! Can't hide from me, motherfucker! Why can't I kill that thing? Look at this friendship box. What's the deal with this thing? Kill all these guys. I've never seen that box before, at least I don't remember it. Tomboy, did you get... You got one of the Let's Go games, right? Did you like it? Watch this. Wait, where is it? That's how you do that. Look how fast he goes. This is cool. You didn't get it? Really? Why not? Not up to your high standards of excellence? Forsaken Jams loves it, though. You calling Forsaken Jams a liar? No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so it, it doesn't really interest you? Doesn't look too good? I'll take a sip of my orange juice. I put orange juice into this, like, cup thing that looks... That's supposed to hold coffee, but I use it to hold orange juice. See, if you don't push the button in time, it kicks you back to uh, the level select screen. Yeah, I know you don't like the um, the latest gen of Pokemon games. I haven't played it though, so can't comment on it. You have Ultra Moon. You don't like it either, really? This is crazy. One old school. But. But I heard the new way is better though. Some people some people tell me it's better. I don't know because I haven't tried it. What? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> So you prefer the the old method forsaken? Really? 
better pay attention here. Playing since red and blue on the Game Boy. That is so crazy. I played red and blue. I played silver. Well, I don't. I don't remember. I think I played blue, not red. Um, played silver. I tried ruby, but I didn't like it. I didn't beat it. Um, played. Playing beat platinum, it's okay. I originally had diamond and uh, I got pretty far in it, but then like I, I gave up right at the end because I didn't have one a Pokemon that had waterfall and you needed waterfall to get up there. It was just like lame. Can I I, I managed to get through. And I didn't get through. Yeah, we're talking all about it. All these amazing Pokemon discussions on Discord. Discord. Did I just say Discord? <laughs> on Discord. Um. And uh, I tried, and I beat um, Omega Ruby, which I like. I like that quite a bit. Shit, you do gotta go fast there. You, you do gotta do the spin dash thing there. So this is one of those like lame parts, which is like not even like like a fun challenge or anything. It's just like lame, <laughs> lame challenge shit. Score. Fancy shit. What the fuck? Die scored. There's this new thing, guys. It's called die scored. All the cool people are doing it. Alright. Yeah, you gotta do this. No, you fucker! Oh, man. Please stop doing that. Okay. And I, I, I messed up. Alright, kill me. Alright, I'm gonna have to concentrate. I didn't mean to do that. Like this should work, right? Yeah. Okay, that's the reason why. That's the reason why I kept dying. So you'll notice I don't use the spin dash a lot in this game. You might be wondering, why the fuck aren't you using spin dash? And the reason is very simple. It's not very fast. You see, it, it, it's kind of slow. Like, it's weird in this game. Just like it is in Episode 1. Actually, in Episode 1, it's even worse. I'm gonna head back? Okay, no problem. Thanks for stopping by, Forsaken. You see, like, when you spin dash, he slows down. Whereas in the other games, he speeds up. As long as you're going downhill. Um, but in this game, there's other ways of going fast. The way that you go fast in this game is uh, to do what I just tried to do, and that's doing the mid-air dash. And you can keep on doing it, and he'll constantly gain more and more speed. It's kind of hard to do it here because there aren't a lot of straightaways. But I'll show it off later. I mean, you probably saw me doing it anyway. Yeah, just doing that. Where do we go?
over there. Keep getting fucked up. Okay, let's go over here first. It's like, I'm not retarded, it just keeps sucking me down for some stupid reason. Get it. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, it, like, it automatically... It's like a brick wall, that sand. It won't let me go through. Yeah, like, nothing I do lets me go with it. Like, I gotta basically fly down there, but there's no way to get through that. Maybe that's not where we're supposed to go, but I don't know. I'm so confused. Tails is just being wonky, like... There's like a glitchy feel to Tails when he flies. He doesn't fly like he normally should. school look arounds Yeah, nothing I do lets me go over there. That's how you do it? That's the dumbest shit ever. Here we go. You see that? Doing the mid-air jumps gets you a lot more speed. Holy shit! Tails, man, stop being retarded. Man, that level. Even if you game over, it's not a big deal. You just have to start over at the that you left off on, so if it's a boss fight, it's not really that big of a deal. Eggman and his Eggman robots. Look at those wings on that thing. Look at his junk mech thing. I can't kill it. 
Yikes. Ah. There we go. Hey, X infected. Oh, you can make it. Oh, boy. more hectic. Okay, we got the hit. get the hit. Is he gonna die yet? Fucking hit sponge. Where are you going? Where's he going? <laughs> he just leaves. Lost all of our rings. Oh, right at the end. I hate when that happens. This is such a laborious boss. There's no way to like kill him quickly. <laughs> you just have to wait for it. I'm just concentrating. I kinda have to for this fucker. There's just shit coming down all the time. Ugh. 
Oh man, come on. Fuck. Oh, man. That's so fucking lame. He just jumps right on top of you. See what I'm saying about these bosses being shit? So trial and error inducing. It's just like lame to the max. Yep. It's okay though, if you get a game over you just restart at the at the last level you left off on. Like and then there was that one ring that vanished right when I was like a pixel off from getting it. Then we have to sit through this bullshit again. Come on, man. It's just weird, because, like, you hit him if you're kind of, like, on top of him, but he's in the background at the same time, so it's just weird. Like, right here, you know, like, you can hit him, but, like, he's in the background, too. So that's what just makes it confusing. Okay. Right there.
is facing the wrong way. Again. I keep timing it wrong. You gotta be on, you gotta be in front of them. This guy. Trial and error, motherfucker. I mean, like, it is so trial and error inducing. Because you can't be behind him when you knock him down like that. You have to be in front of him. And it's too easy to lose all your rings on that fucker. My boss suck. They all suck. All the bosses in this game are terrible. They are so bad. Alright. Last zone. There's a last zone, but then there's like a... A final... Boss zone. Like, there's a... A, a level just for the final boss. So this is gonna be like Sky Chase and Wing Fortress, I assume. It's been a while, so I can't remember exactly. Nope, it's gonna be like Death Egg Zone. Might be a little bit of both, we'll see. Okay, yeah, it's like uh, Sky Chase. Because we loved Sky Chase so much, they put it in this game. And they put it in Sonic Mania 2. Wing Fortress Zone was good. Sky Chase Zone. I don't think anyone likes that one. not that bad now? What do you mean? You mean this zone's not that bad, or you mean Sky Chase zone is not that bad? Ooh. Let's see. I'm getting a little bit of Wing Fortress stuff in here. Ah, damn it. Sky Chase Zone. Sky Chase Zone is not that good. I mean, it's not the worst level in the universe. But it's just really boring. Luckily, it's only one act. And it's not too long. Alright, gotta concentrate. It shows you so much with that. Like, what the fuck? Please, motherfucker.
This time we're staying down, right? Oh, I think I know. You gotta push X on that, right? I think. I think that's what I'm doing wrong. And I'm about to get a game over. I think that's what we gotta do. Yeah. We gotta do that. There. I lost all my lives just to get through that. Let's see if we can get through this one level at least. Then we'll intentionally get a game over. These turtle guys are back. Fuck these turtle guys. Can I get a one-up? Uh-oh. I'm so close to the one-up. Come on. Don't fuck me now. <laughs> I was trying to get away from it. I couldn't. No one up for me. Let's hope zero counts as a life. Hey. What happened? Come on, I busted through that fucking shit. You guys, you guys agree that I busted through that shit. I mean, you saw me bust right through it. What the fuck? This game is so poorly programmed. No reaction time. There. Of course he didn't fall off the plane. Where's the plane? Tails got left behind. <laughs> like, I hate it when that happens. Like, when the other enemy... Okay, this is our last life. We gotta be really careful. I gotta concentrate, guys. I have to focus. This is it. Come on, man! That, that is so stupid! That is not my fault! I fucking hate it when this game does stupid shit like that. Like, the lock-on just... Decides not to work sometimes. It's so dumb. Like, you can go... Like, it's so dumb, too. Like, 
you can go right to Act 3 and do them out of order and stuff like that. It's like, what the fuck is the point? <clears throat> Just like, let me do it in the way that it's supposed to be. focus here. Eh, this level is just whatever. It becomes cheap. Yeah, that's good. Look, the stage is not moving. <laughs> That's how glitchy this game is. Got a little lag. Hope it doesn't uh, continue. But when the gameplay lags, you can still hear me, right? Just four more rings. Whoa, what the fuck? I almost died. Okay, there we go. It's lagging? It says I'm in the green, though. How does it look for you, Dragoon? Close to the end. Hopefully we can beat this game soon. There's still two more acts though. Looks good, okay good. Quite a few lines. We need two more rings. We'll get that right now. That was the game that just kind of froze for a second. It wasn't the internet.
Tails collects rings. The airplane can't collect rings, but Tails can. <laughs> it's kind of weird. He has a hitbox. When is this level gonna end? Like, sometime kind of soon, maybe? This level just keeps on going on and on. It doesn't want to end. We've been playing this level for six minutes. And it's an auto-scroller. Sky Chase was never this bad. Alright, it's done. <laughs> Good. Man. That level sucks. It's so bad. Alright. Wing Fortress clone. Good music. Very tedious, very long. Way longer than it should be, over six minutes. And I missed a thing. Blades don't hurt you. <laughs> what the fuck? How does this work? Okay, I have to keep pushing forward. That's pretty cool. Careful. Okay. 
Yikes. The other reason why I don't use the spin dash that often is because the tails move, where you're both, like, going in circles together, is a better move anyway. It's faster. You know what I'm saying? Like this move. It's a pretty good move. Like, because it constantly accelerates and goes really fast. Look at this. Oh! They were nice enough not to give me a bondless pit down there. That is so lame. get the one up, but oh well. We made it! Now, that's the kind of level I'm talking about. Like, I don't like those stupid levels. I like the good levels. Sky Chase Zone, that's a stupid level. That level I played that just there, that was a pretty good level. I give it my Enigma Hood seal of approval. all the rings. Damn it. Yes, I want to play the next act. At least we got extra life. not the Death Egg Zone clone, I guess. There is a Death Egg Zone clone level. It's probably the final level. Oh, great. We have ten lives. We're probably gonna lose all of them on this. Like, the, the second one wasn't bad at all. I got a bad feeling about this one, though. things, but they were in Death Egg Zone and Sonic and & Knuckles. Yikes. Come on. Like, the thing that's annoying is sometimes you'll think you're in the air and so you hit the button again. But it turns out you're on the ground, so he does that different move. It's just annoying. Unnecessarily annoying. Okay, good. Lighting effects are kind of cool here. You can save yourself from a imminent death like that, and... Okay. And it didn't work.
Let's try that again. Damn it. That enemy looks like an e a boss from Sonic 2 Game Gear. I only saw him briefly, but he looks exactly like him. It must be a reference. this good and we get the one up and lose all our ranks but that's okay because we got the one up what the fuck I'm t like, it's... That Tails, he sucks. He's so inconsistent. I think he can get, like, three... Three boosts off of him. That's it. Oh, welcome back, X Infected. that fucking disappearing platform. Look at this. Because the fucking other platform's not always in the right spot, you know? <laughs> oh, come on! I hate him!
that is such bullshit. Like this, it's just cheap beyond imagination. I can't tell you how cheap that is. Done yet? Please be done. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Jeez. Sky Chase Zone stuff. <clears throat> the wind is always pushing me back, look at this. That's bullshit. First time I got a one-up on a boss stage. That's what you're supposed to do. Jeez, I didn't know. Well, at least we got a one-up. I can't get him when he's down. It's Metal Sonic that's piloting the thing. Oh, it was down? Yeah, I was wondering what happened to you. Is he dead? I think we got him, yeah. Whew. Okay. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Still not done yet. I don't believe it. Instant death. I thought I had it.
Might be getting the N64 today. Nice. Any games? Goldeneye? Tested your pal one, worked, nice. Whew, that was close. <clears throat> nice. Kirby the Glass Shard, I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, that one. Give me one ring. Look at that. Is he dead? I think he's dead. AC adapter didn't work? Gotta get a new one then. That should be easily replaceable. Zero rings. How do you like that? It's not over yet. Thank you. Pussy ass bitch run away. Let's follow him, Tails. It's one of those space pods from Dragon Ball Z. Outrun Sonic in like every game. So this is the the new Death Egg. It's called something else, maybe like Death Egg Mark II or something. I can't remember. Looks pretty cool actually. Mark II, yeah. It looks really cool. Like, this is how Death Egg and Sonic and Knuckles should have looked like.
Eggman is the protagonist? Uh... I don't think so. Against okay, thick ass run. He's a rotund kind of guy. Yeah, I was like. Yeah, there's no game where he's the. where he's even playable. Because, like, I, I know in Mario, Bowser is actually playable in Sonic RPG. Oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. Yeah, Sonic Adventure 2. You can play as him. I don't know how, why I forgot that. Probably because I don't like that game. <laughs> Just trying to erase it from my memory. But it's lame. He's like in some stupid mech walker. something. That's like the spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z. Eggman's a big shield. For fuck's sake, all my rings! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, good. Are you kidding me? There. See, like, that- that is almost unavoidable. How do you avoid getting hit there? I don't know. It's lame. Damn it, I missed the shield. Some, some other shield, too. Got an extra life. This is all like, going crazy kind of shit. No extra life though. Oh well. Where do we go? I don't want to go in that bottomless pit.
What, he wants to join forces? I don't think so. I can't forgive you. Oh no, this is, uh... What is this? This is like the race. the music from Sonic CD, by the way. Maybe there's there's five zones in this? I didn't know that this actually had acts. No, it's just the the one act. a lot better than the death egg from the first game. As for the boss, I don't know. Probably... Probably annoying. rings. Give me that ring. <clears throat> oh. The movement's so stiff.
It is. <laughs> it's just the bosses are crappy. Bosses. There's so there's so much trial and error, and like the problem is like they're too big, and you might say, oh, they're big, that's cool. And it's like, yeah, that is cool, but like they're confusing. You know, like the bosses in the other games, they're like they're pretty intuitive, like they make sense. Yikes, give me those things. It's like this thing is just like big and confusing. They're like all big and confusing, you know. It flies. Tails came through for once. Ring back. How do I bust through? Thank goodness I got that ring. stuck. That might have even been the last phase, I don't know. It's like five billion phases for that boss. Maybe I shouldn't collect all the rings, you know? I hope not. I mean, I'm already kind of like irate.
don't think I should collect all these rings. There we go. Yeah. We'll leave those rings for future purposes. Alright, so we're already at this phase, so that's good. get up there. Okay, now he's gonna use the shield, I think. How many phases does he have? I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, finally. Man, if I died right at the end, I'd be so pissed. Yeah, episode one boss is worse. It's basically just the Sonic 2 boss, except like a million times worse. Especially right at the end, like at the end they gave this like really cheap insta-kill attack. So lame. Thank you, X-Infected. All right, that is Sonic 4 episode two, the final episode in Sonic 4, unfortunately. Could have gotten episode 3. There was supposed to be an episode 3, but it was not meant to be. But uh, hopefully, we'll get Sonic Mania 2. Let's see how long we've been streaming for. Two and a half hours. Sonic Mania 2, or maybe a Sonic 5. One of these days. Hoping for it. I don't usually do a review for games I've already been, I mean, I'm a little tired, two and a half hours, playing this tough game, you have streamed much longer than that, but, uh, maybe next time. <laughs>
good music, much better music than Sonic for Episode 1. What'd you guys think? What'd you guys think of the, the game? I mean, I'll just say that it's it's a great it's a it is a great game. Um, it's better than the first first episode. Nowhere near as good as the Genesis games. Nowhere near as good as Sonic Mania. Um, compared to Sonic Advance, I would say it's like um, I think it's like about equalish. Can't really decide. I mean, they're they're pretty different. Just eh. I think it's a solid platformer. It should have been called something else. It should have been called Sonic Remix. Other than that, it's good. It's like it's about on par with the Sonic Advance series. You know, maybe. It does a few things better. I think Sonic Advance does some other things better. You know, they're they're all they're both like they they have like their strengths and weaknesses. I think it's a good game. All right. So, um, as for tomorrow, what do you think, t Tomboy? You gonna be free tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday, right? Sunday, I may or may not be busy. Tomorrow, I should be free. What about you, Tomboy? You gonna be busy tomorrow? Presented by Sega. Not gonna be busy? Okay. So maybe we'll do, like, Earthbound or something. We'll see. Alright. So that's the second time I ever beat this game. I, I played the game on and off, like, playing different levels, but that's the second time I beat it from beginning to end. It took two and a half hours to beat. Alright, so that's another Sonic game under our belt. Pretty much the only other Sonic games that we haven't streamed yet are Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations. Sonic Colors, I can't really stream anytime soon, um, but Sonic Generations, I can stream. Uh, I get the PC version of that, so maybe we could give that a shot one of these days. Okay, maybe Sonic Colors we can do one day down the line. So that's it for tonight. I want to thank everyone for streaming with me. Thank you so much. It's an honor and a pleasure. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. So tomorrow we might be streaming Earthbound. Just check Discord. You know, get my attention on Discord if you want to see a stream. And that's it. Have a good night. Bye.